Hello, uh, I'm Mr Cook, I'm the Hub Leader for Business and Design, I'm also a science teacher. Uh, I'm here today to talk about my favourite book uh, when I was growing up, this is Roald Dahl's Going Solo. It covers what he did in his 20s and he led a very exciting life and uh, so much happened in this book I've never been able to forget uh, everything that he did. A very, very lucky man and he wrote a lot of books about that stuff that happened. So I'm here to talk about that today. This covers uh, Roald Dahl when he had left school. Um, he started off by going to Africa to work for the Shell Company. And while he was there, the Second World War broke out and he trained to be a pilot. Uh, but when he was actually flying aircraft, he had a bit of success and then crashed very badly in the desert and almost died. Um, lost his sight uh, temporarily, was treated very well by a nurse, treated him back to health, um, rejoined. Um, the army and, and fought again while flying these, these airplanes uh, and then found his, finally at the end of the war, found his way home. And so it's a story that takes him all the way through that level. Okay, my favourite parts of the book, I've got two. Um, there's one halfway through where he's had this massive plane crash, uh, very lucky to survive, where he's head butted the, the um, dashboard and it's, it's, it's damaged his face, it's pushed his nose in and damaged his eyes and he's blinded and he's in hospital for about three months and his sight slowly, slowly comes back because the nurse treats him and slowly manages to get his eyes working again and after months of darkness and just listening to people's voices, they see these images of red and gold and, and it's really exciting for him, especially as he thought he was going to be blind the rest of his life. Uh, and so it's kind of really about hope, which is great. Um, it then links to my favourite bit at the back, which I'm going to read you about, which is basically describing where he is coming home. Okay, so I'll, I'll say a little bit more, but I'll read you the bit first. Um, early the next morning, I was driven to Marlebone Station and found a train for Aylesbury. At Aylesbury, I found a bus, which, so the driver assured me, would go right through the village of Grendon Underwood. The bus took longer than the train, and all the way, I kept asking an old man who sat beside me to be sure to tell me when we were approaching Grendon Underwood. We're coming into it now, he said at last. It's not much of a place, just a few cottages and a pub. I caught sight of my mother when the bus was still a hundred yards away. She was standing patiently outside the gate of the cottage, waiting for the bus to come along, and for all I knew, she'd been standing there when the earlier bus had gone by an hour or two before. But what is one hour, or even three hours, when you've been waiting three years? I signalled the bus driver, and he stopped the bus for me right outside the cottage, and I flew down the steps of the bus, straight into the arms of my waiting mother. I love that, because like all of you, um, you know, I've got a great deal of respect and love for my mum and dad, and uh, my mum lives a long way from here, and so when I go see my mum, I feel like that when I go home and see her. Uh, and also, she's always there, waiting for me at the window. And uh, Roald Dahl's mother was waiting at the bus stop for him, and I find that a really poignant, a really sort of sad moment. But it's also a great moment, because they're reunited, and she thought she might have lost him in the war, especially in that crash. I would definitely recommend this book. Um, for anyone who likes the Roald Dahl, the funny stories, the well-written stories, all the fantastic vocabulary he uses, but this is the influence behind that. It's what he learned when he was growing up that's influenced a lot of his books. And when you read what actually happened to him in this autobiography, you see where he was coming from and you see what the influences are. And to me, that was, that was even uh, more enjoyable than reading his fictional books. So I definitely recommend this. Very exciting book.